Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Zoya Fall 2016 collection, the Urban Grunge collection. There are six one coat creams and then there are six metallic hollows. So 12 polishes all together. These are both going to be available for purchase on August 15th from Zoya.com. I will link that website down below. So yeah, 12 polishes to show you and I will get into the swatches. So I am starting out with the six one coat creams as Zoya calls them. The first one is called Noah, and this is a kind of putty color. And if my nails look a little stained and goofy around the edges, I've swatched a ton of fall colors in the last couple days, and I cannot get the stains and like, like right here where it's in like a little ridge in my nail, can't get it out. So it'll just have to come out over time. So here's one coat. And this one, like it says, is completely opaque in one coat. You do have to do a little bit thicker of a coat. But in the summer, Zoya came out with what they called one coat creams, and like none of them were one coaters, so I'm really excited about this. Formula is a little bit on the thicker side. That's how you get that one coat ability out of it, so it's kind of a trade-off. I wouldn't say it's too thick by any means, just definitely thicker. So there is one coat of Noah. The next polish is called August, and this is kind of a cement gray color. So here is one coat. So this one is also completely opaque in one thicker coat. You might end up needing two depending on your application, but it is pretty easy to get it opaque in one. The formula on this one is like the other one, a little bit on the thicker side. And you do get a lot of ridges in there, but they do level themselves out as it dries. So there is one coat of August. The next polish is called Wyatt, and this is a darker jade green. So here is one coat. And this one is another one that is completely opaque in one coat with a thicker coat. I do think if you do thinner coats or if you manipulate the polish a lot, you might end up needing two just because you will get a few lighter spots. Like I have one there, but it's easier for me just to spot treat it than to do a whole second coat. Same formula as the other ones, a little bit on the thicker side, but still pretty easy to use. And I have some major coffee shakes this morning, holy cow. So there is one coat of Wyatt. The next polish is Mallory, and this is a kind of medium, almost cobalt blue. So here is one coat. And this is another one that you can get completely opaque in one thicker coat. I'm really excited about this because like I said in the summer collection, Zoya had one coat creams and I didn't get one coat out of any of them. I didn't even get two coats out of some of them. Same formula as the other ones as well. So there is one coat of Mallory. The next polish is Terra and this is a reddish purple. So here is one coat. So this one just has a few too many light spots to be completely opaque in one, so it will need two. You probably could get it completely opaque in one, because like my middle finger looks pretty good, but my pointer finger and my ring finger aren't going to. Um, but this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get completely opaque in one coat. So here is two coats. And two coats does cover completely, and you can really see the difference between a thicker coat and a thinner coat with the color. I do think you could get this one opaque with one thicker coat, but I think you'd probably be better off just doing two because the coat has to be so thick. So there is two coats of Terra. The next polish is called Courtney, and this is a deep kind of oxblood brownie red color. So here is one coat. This one is a bit more of a kind of jelly-ish finish, so it's a little bit more sheer. Definitely don't think you could get this one opaque in one coat. The formula is good, about the same as the others. So here's two coats. This one covers completely and deepens up quite a bit on the second coat. And again, good formula. Probably a little bit on the thick side for most people. For me, I think it's just right, but I tend to prefer thicker formulas anyway. So it all just depends on your preference. So there is two coats of Courtney. So now we are starting into the hollows and metallics. The first one is Alicia, and this is a silver. It's like if you took a bunch of the little silver specks that are in Dream and Aurora and Blaze and Peyton and you just 
packed one polish full of those. That's kind of how this comes off, but it also has an added gold shimmer to it. So here is one coat. And this one is pretty sheer on the first coat. I do think it's just sheer enough to also be used as a topper because over darker colors, it's really gonna make that gold shimmer stand out. And great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. So the color is starting to build up on the second coat, but you can still see the nail line pretty well. So I'm gonna do a third. And the nice thing about the flakies in here is that they lay really flat on the nail and they're not difficult to remove. They don't stick to the nail like a glitter at all. So here's three coats. And this one covers, I'd say like 90% in three coats. If you look really, really, really closely, you might be able to make the nail line out a little bit, but it's not, it's not bad at all. And I definitely think the three coats is worth it for the color. So there is three coats of Alicia. And here is one coat as a topper over Tara. The next polish is called Finley, and this is a darker purple. This it has those scattered holographic pieces in it, like Aurora and Dream and some of like the best Zoyas. This is it next to Aurora, so you can see that Aurora is much more of a kind of ready purple once you put it next to Finley. So here is one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer and a little bit streaky on the first coat, so it is gonna need two to build up. Great formula on this, and I just get really excited anytime I see Zoya come out with more colors in this finish, because this and the pixie dust are my favorite thing ever that they do. So here is two coats. And two coats covers completely on this one, and it does deepen the color to match what's in the bottle. Like I mentioned when I swatched Alicia, these flakies do lay flat. I mean, you should still use a top coat, but they'll lay flat, they won't stick up or be gritty, and they remove really easily as well. So there is two coats of Finley. The next polish is Merida, and this is a dark kind of foresty green with that scattered holographic. So here is one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer and the color is a bit light on the first coat, so it will need two. Great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. So two coats covers completely for this one and darkens the color to match what's in the bottle. And it's just so perfect and I'm so happy. So there is two coats of Merida. The next polish is Ash and this is kind of a pinky red with a silvery gold shimmer that runs throughout it. So here is one coat. And this one almost covers completely. I just have a couple lighter spots that I'm not even sure you can see on camera, but I'm gonna do a second coat to cover those up. Formula is fantastic, and this one is like a real sleeper for me. I was not expecting it to look like this on the nails, because in the bottle, all the shimmer is kind of stuck to the side of the bottle, so you can really see the color of the shimmer over the color of the polish. But once the two are mixed together on your nails, you get this like, awesome metallic vampy red shimmer thing. So here is two coats. And this one does deepen quite a bit on the second coat also. And like I said, looks totally different than it does in the bottle. I really, really like this one. So there is two coats of ash. The next polish is Brita, and this is a deeper plum with that silvery gold shimmer that runs throughout it. So here is one coat. And this one also covers really well on the first coat. I do have a few lighter spots though, so I'm gonna do a second. Great formula on this one. The shimmer does pretty much the same thing as it did in the other one. It looks very silvery gold in the bottle because it's stuck to the sides of the glass. But once it mixes with the polish, it becomes way more, I guess there's way more depth to it. I still like ash better though in color. So here is two coats. So two coats covers those lighter spots. It does deepen the color a tiny bit. The lighter spots weren't terrible in the first place. So I think if you don't mind a little bit lighter of a color, you could technically say this is a one coater, but I do think it looks better with two. There is two coats of Brita. And the last polish is called Troy, and this is a gunmetal colored metallic with that silvery, slightly a little bit gold shimmer. I don't know if it's a different shimmer or if the gold just doesn't stand out as much against the gunmetal color, but it's definitely not as obvious as it is in Ash or Brita. So here is one coat. 
This one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. I do get some uneven spots. Great formula though. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two and it also does get a little bit darker. I don't have any issues when I remove this with the shimmer like sticking to the skin around my nail. I know with some shimmer polishes it can get everywhere. I didn't have that problem with these ones. So there is two coats of Troy. Oh, you guys, this might be one of my favorite Zoya collections that I have seen since I started reviewing Zoya. So, I mean, I missed a few back before I was like really paying attention to every single polish that came out, but this might be the best one yet for me. First of all, we have Alicia, which is one of my favorites because it is super, super holographic, not something you see really in mainstream polishes. It has that weird gold flash to it, those little tiny flecks. It's just a really, really cool polish. So, Merida is the exact polish that I have been wanting from Zoya for like three or four years now. And I know I've mentioned it in videos, I've said it to friends, like it's just been something that I've wanted so badly. Zoya makes these beautiful, beautiful scattered holographic polishes, and I've wanted one in a green, in a forest green, for like it's since the first time I ever saw them, I'm like that would look amazing in green. And they finally made one, and I am so, so, so excited about it. Like, I don't think I've ever been this excited about a polish before. This finally exists. So, really, really happy about this one. So that is the Zoya Urban Grunge Collection for Fall 2016. Again, those are releasing on August 15th. I will link the website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.